throughout the years, I just slowly got more and more strict with it and then eventually progressed to carnivore just out mm -hmm. of simplicity's sake. Mm -hmm. I started to get some twinges. Uh, I was getting a little bit stringy and just flat and depleted. That was after almost two years, essentially, of carnivore. So it and wasn't- being lean. I was like, I, I just felt off. I didn't feel mm -hmm. 100%. Training now with carbs. My training feels good. Go, go, go. See, I told you. Another bodybuilder quits the carnivore diet. Would you look at that? Meet Tristan Lee. He's a young bodybuilding social media influencer. Tristan has a lot of followers, but he also has a ton of people that don't like him at all. He's popular because he's really young and shredded. He's in his early 20s now, but had quite a physique at a young age. This led people to speculate whether or not he's on gear even when he was young. I guess people don't like him because he's not admitting he's on gear, and poke fun of his height, saying the steroids stunted his growth because he's in his early 20s now, but is only 5'3". There really is no proof he is on roids, but the consensus on Reddit is that he is juicing. People don't care if bodybuilders use steroids, but if they lie about it, that's when a lot of hate comes into play. I was aware of this guy for a long time, and I didn't like him just because he always posed with a douchebag serious face like he could kick anyone's ass, but again, he's only five foot three. Totally sure. Shot. Now that I gave you all the background story about this kid, let's listen to how Tristan deteriorated on the carnivore diet. I've been doing low carbs since I was 13. My mom got into it for weight loss purposes and my brothers tagged along there playing rugby and wrestling as well, which are obviously two sports that would also benefit from carbohydrates. <laughs> Go on. If Tristan already knew that high intensity, physical sports require a lot of carbs, why the hell did he even bother trying the carnivore diet in the first place? Throughout the years, I just slowly got more and more strict with it and then eventually progressed to carnivore just out of mm. simplicity's sake. Mm. It was easiest to not have to cook my asparagus, zucchini, vegetables. Yeah. How is cooking dead animals more convenient than cooking vegetables? You can buy fresh or frozen veggies and throw them into a microwave, air fryer, or steamer and walk away. If you need a lot of protein, beans you can buy dirt cheap dried. Yes, they do take some time to soak and boil, but they are much cheaper than meat. Plus, you can also buy them canned, which is still cheaper, and eat them right away. Same goes for tofu and tempeh. I started to get some twinges. Uh, I was getting a little bit stringy and just flat and depleted. That was after almost two years, essentially, of carnivore. So it and wasn't- being lean. I was like, I, I just felt off. I didn't feel mm -hmm. 100%. Everyone on the carnivore diet eventually goes from 100% to 0%. That's carnivore deterioration for you. Because it was pretty much immediate changes within like literally five days of, of implementing Those two his, pictures are pretty yeah, fucking wild. Pretty wild. <laughs> so uh, I was pretty confident after that point. Now he's spewing bullshit. He did not improve anything five days into the carnivore diet. I'll prove it. First, he posed in different parts of that room. And second, the lighting is different, causing an illusion to make him look bigger. Now I can see why people hate this kid. Tristan's just lying out of his mouth. There are more shadows in the before picture than the picture he claims got significant changes being on the carnivore diet for only five days. I know you're insecure about your height, but grow a pair of nuts like a real man and stop deceiving your followers. A small, petty man. What were these immediate five-day changes? I assume it was trend below, but I just learned from TikTok comments. Oh, yeah. Immediately, I was just more full, so I wasn't as stringy, and I noticed my joints weren't as terrible. He said he was more full and his joints weren't as terrible on the carnivore diet, huh? If you're one of my followers, you know what time it is. It's time to zoom in on his fucking face. Look at this soft-eyed brat and how scared he is. He's posing his physique on the carnivore diet, and he lost all his confidence. What is he afraid of? Tristan ate like a caveman. He should have alpha blood coursing through his veins. Instead, he has the heart of a little bitch. He lost so much muscle eating animal-based. So depleted of nutrients. He's got such a flat look to him. His legs were destroyed by eating a lot of dead animals. The quads are pretty much non-existent now. Tristan was eating all this animal protein and his legs got thinner. Oh my God, look at his nipple. The fucking nipple, <laughs> it's pushed in. It looks like someone literally took their index finger and poked it. 
The carnivore diet destroyed Tristan's physique. This is what he looked like during the carnivore diet. And this was him, before the carnivore decay ate away his muscle tissue. Training now with carbs. My training feels good. Go, go, go! Come on. Up and back, up and back, go. Go, go. God, go, go! Yes. I've noticed the biggest difference in my pumps being way better. My strength is going up. I'm able to control and brace a lot better in heavy movements and compound oh. movements, I find. So uh, it's just been progressively getting better and better. Anyone who supports the carnivore diet, please explain to me why Tristan now feels much better with carbs. Animal-based makes no sense, which is why everybody who tries the carnivore diet eventually quits. These still shots I got from this video proves the carnivore diet fucked him up bad. Hard-earned muscle from all the years he wasn't animal-based. Gone. Now he has to carb up and train to get the muscle back. Years wasted because he thought eating meat would make his life easier. The carnivore diet failed Tristan Lee, point blank period. He tried it out, claimed to have seen benefits, but in reality, the diet destroyed both his physical and mental health. If none of those are true, he'd still be eating animal-based. He would recover a lot faster and gain more strength if he cut out all animal products from his diet. That's great that he's back to eating plants, but until he gets rid of the meat, dairy, and eggs, he'll continue to deteriorate until his little body can no longer sustain life. Carnism is cancer.